Live your passion. You can be anything you want. Concrete shutterers specialize in building structures from concrete materials and in ensuring that concrete is poured correctly. They prepare the site by setting up the forms in which concrete is poured to create walls, structures, pillars and walkways. Meet Pietras Mungego, an experienced concrete shutterer employed by construction company CSV Construction at its Avolfus Bay based operations. This is his story. You can be anything you want. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Live your passion. Live your passion. Yeah. Born at the Okawonde village in the Oshikoto region, Pietras Munjego attended Eshishete Combined School. Having developed an early fascination with woodwork, Pietras was happiest when he could land a few nails and planks from which he would make furniture pieces. I just got in there because from when I was a small boy, I was used to make those small cup, uh, cupboard, those small chests, I was you work with uh, old stuff. That's why I saw myself I need to be a, be a carpenter. There is a different carpenter. So we have a, that uh, carpenter for the construction. So we have those carpenter for those they're going to build cupboards, join a carpenter. But I do both of that. Circumstances were difficult, and after completing grade 10, Pietras left the village to stay with his uncle in the capital and to find a job through which to supplement the family's income. It was not really hard for me because I was very happy. I wake up morning time, early morning time. I was having one of my friends, is the one who was helping me for those safety boots so that when you are going to look a job, you must be have a safety boots. So maybe I just go to two sides Oh, one side they told me, ah, we don't have enough job. From my beginning, I was a library. I was using a cleaver and I said, oh no, my experience is not enough for them to push a cleaver. Pietras was young and fit and excelled as a construction hand. However, the low wages were discouraging and Pietras realized that for his circumstances to improve, he had to master a high-level construction trade. First of all, you check yourself how you, who you are and where you come from and how you survive. So, if you will see that, ah, no, I don't want to do those, uh, like to store the cleavers or whatever, no. That's you're wasting of your time. You have tried to push out the cleavers so that you must get at least something. Try to do even bet well, so you can just try to do. Traversing the capital's construction scene, moving from one construction site to the next, Pietras ended up at CSV Construction, where his dedication, energy and ability to execute instructions to the T made a strong impression on the company's owners. When he started, we saw potential in him. He's a very uh, open-minded person. You can talk to him, he understands you, um, he can talk back to you. Um, he, he understands uh, the, the setup, the shuttering, he understands what to do, how to do it. Um, he's got a few years' experience now already, and he's, he's a good leader. The guys is listening to him. Beatrice's strong on site leadership convinced the company's owners to enroll him in a specialized construction course in South Africa's Eastern Cape province. Pietras rushed to get his passport and study visa ready. The course that I started doing there, it, uh, they ran me for the junior formula. 
that is a course that I started to do there because we was six for this company. But here in Namibia, I was only me. Some of the guys, they are from South Africa. Passing the first level with flying colors, Pietras re-enrolled for the second level, which he also completed with ease. Now, in full-time employee, he has graduated to more complex work assignments, overseeing his own teams of construction workers and rendering key support to CSV Constructions projects at the coast. They sent me to Sua Kopmund. They said, okay, Pietras, you must go to Sua Kopmund because you're going to do the job there again. You need to go rent another st stuff there. And I'm going there to Sua Kopmund. We did a uh, three pump station at Sua Kopmund. So after we done those uh, three uh, pump station, so we got another, right now we got another job here in Uwabes by. We did another, uh, let's vol the dam, the big dam in Uwabes by. So we did also that there, I get a lot of experience for to do those. Because there, especially there, I was starting at the dam. It's there I am starting to learn up how I work with the people. So where I work with, uh, I work in the site. And then from there, I start to get my team. Working in the site, I have my own team in the site. So we start to work. My team and the other team, because we supplied them. I have a team for the shutters, and the other team, it came behind for the concrete. You can be anything you want. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Live your passion, live your passion, yeah. Concrete shuttering is hardy work. Working alongside other construction workers, shutterers erect and set forms for concrete structures, building and clamping wooden moulds using appropriate hand tools. For strength and structural integrity, rebar or wire meshes are introduced for reinforcement. To build the shutters, so first of all we need to check maybe uh, how wrong for the, that wall what you need to to build and then you take a size then you make an order for the shutters that you need by that size so if if the shutters they come then you start to put them on you have to put them on basically in the position where they need to be so if you don't you make your inspection if your shutter is on position then we're gonna wait for the concrete. We're using a new, in Namibia, a piling system. So we're putting the piles in the ground. So we've got a, a box area where you can excavate, so you'll minimum your excavation in uh, existing services and houses and stuff. We are really deep, we're about nine meters deep excavation. We've got a water table, Underneath water table, we are minus um, seven meters below sea level. So we've got a lot of water. We've got a six inch pump running 24 hours non-stop just to get a, a dry area for us to work. Pietras continues to impress. He doesn't mind the heavy lifting and irregular hours. His positive demeanor and dedication to quality workmanship and safety continue to stand him in good stead and the future looks bright for this passionate and zealous artisan. I ran a lot of things in this company. It's rot. We ran a lot of things. It's not only me I ran in this company. We are, I think all, a lot of us we are ran in this company. This company, they learn us to go up. I'm waiting to be, to get a promotion for the foreman. Uh, that's my future plan. It's going step, step, step because of that I start to run those things. So my future plan is going up. It's 
starting with junior foreman, the next step for him. Uh, he did his carpentry, he did his shuttering, his junior shutter, and he's now a shutter carpenter. So the next step is junior foreman. And after that, uh, general foreman, we want him to take a group of guys. And if they, we've got a little job somewhere else, we're going to send him with the guys, with the plans. He's going to do the job. It's his site. That's a, that's a future we, need, we want him to go to. You can be anything you want. You can achieve it if you just believe. Take you to a place you can be your true self. Live your passion. Live your passion, yeah. Away from the outdoor extremities that come with this job, Beatrice keeps fit and exercise and jogging have become part of his daily regimen. Since his fiancé and family reside in the northern parts of the country, he enjoys spending time with friends and listening to music. It's not really easy. But my girlfriend is not here, it's a state to north. So we are only used to communicate like uh, we used to chat, we used to call each other, so like we used to call with a video call. But unfortunately we used to visit each other. Yeah. So uh, if we address someone, whether he's far or whether he's closer, so you just need to make a plan how we're going to communicate you guys. It's a job. You don't have anything to complain because when the company say we send you ever way they want to send you, so you have to go because it's a job. When you don't want, then the company they will lose you and then they're going to take another person there. That's it. So that's a job. So you have to understand. Support. I got it from my. First of all, I got it from my mother. I got it from my uncle, and my father also experienced. Except if I have something wrong on my mind, or if I have something need, so I have to talk to them. You get, give me a lot of explanation. This is a situation of job, you know. So you have just to go with work, where you can get your bread. You must not think about home, so you can go home when you get something like you are looking for your bread, you must bring the bread at home. You know, you need to get the oven a bit, and you must not just sit and go in the car, and sometimes we used to go and run around the street, so just for the body fit. Like jokes, we, are, we used to make jokes too much, so we are just like brothers, not like even co-workers or friends, we are just like brothers, because we are working together. Like you have to take someone like, if you are working together, it's better than even your brother or your sister because sometimes the time you spend with someone who is working together with you is not the same time you spend with your sister or your friend. Pietras Munjego, dexterous, skillful and competent. His story teaches us that often the best way to success is to quit talking and to start doing. Starting out as a construction hand and now with a bright future in the construction industry, his journey imparts on us that there is simply no substitute for hard work, that it is about consistency and persistence in all we do every day. He is working his dream. He is living his passion. Live Your Passion is supported by the European Union.